us we are interested in, in this way of working since we are a small country and yeah. uh, you don't have capacity to run uh, a lot of projects on your own and, and there's also an added value of being a part of a, a consortium or a, a cooperation with both uh, other EU member states but also of course with, uh, yeah. with uh, partner countries. The visibility is one of the challenges, as, as mentioned in the, in the conference today, because uh, uh, I was invited by France, uh, the French uh, Public Employment Service, because they already are involved in the Socio Plus. Uh, and we felt that it was important to come here and join the conference because we have experience in Sweden working with development cooperation and international cooperation but not in this context. We had some similar experiences when you work together in, in consortias or in, in, in teams uh, of different countries uh, but I think uh, this is the added value of being a team uh, and being coming with different experiences uh, which could uh, benefit uh, the partner country but also yourself. Socio Plus uh, gives you the, the framework uh, of, of doing more and more diverse projects uh, and maybe not being forced to carry all the administ administrative burden in that sense but also that small countries can, can join and uh, can be, um, contribute um, to, to uh, the international cooperation in a better way. If you want to be the lead in an international cooperation, it takes you a lot of resources, uh, both human resources, but also the capacity of the organization to, to carry that. Uh, and I think uh, when you can uh, make these uh, teams, so to speak, or the consortias uh, with other member states or by uh, involving other partner countries as well, uh, like we do in West Africa, where you have both uh, Morocco and Tunisia involved, and, and also, but also France and Sweden, then you have another dimension to it, which you don't uh, have when you do a bilateral one. There is a lot of benefits. I mean, the international cooperation uh, gives the organization back uh, uh, a lot. It could be concrete skills or concrete uh, knowledge uh, that you bring back to your home, but also the reflection of of uh, being in a in a in a context where you when you reflect of your uh, everyday business, uh, and I think uh, that gives you a, a different perspective of, of how we run things back home, and I think that's important. We came here with the view that we are interested in getting involved and, and also this is a possibility to get involved on a, on a level where we can actually have the capacity to be involved. So I think we are going to find out even more on the practicalities of what, how, how do we actually do it. Uh, is it individuals who are uh, interested who can actually um, make their contribution or we do it? how do we do it as an organization and how do we do it uh, within the organization? How do we reach out uh, to employees who actually want to, to make a contribution? And, um, and it's all about visibility inside the organization at the moment, of course.